hello everyone welcome to this tutorial today i will show you how to build a secure login api using jwt in asp.net core minimal api by the end of this video you will have a functioning api that generates a jwt token upon login let's get started let's open ps code inside service let's create token service let's search for class and token service and here let's inject i configuration private read only i configuration config let's create constructor ctor tab let's inject here i configuration config 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 let's create generate token public string generate token let's pass here string user id and string username let's create token handler new jwt security token handler let's import it control dot using item dot identity model dot token dot jwt let's get key from encoding dot ascii dot get bytes and config jwt setting and security key so this should match with app setting we can see here security key this can be nullable let's create list of claims new list of claim new claim claim type dot name identified spaced user id and another one new new claim claim types dot name pass it username so let's create token descriptor new security token descriptor and let's pass it subject claim new claims identity pass it claim let's make it claims pass it claims and pass expires date time dot utc now dot eight days after one day we cannot use same key sign in credential this pass a new sign in credential new symmetric new symmetric security key let's pass a key and security algorithm h m a c h s 256 let's create token 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 handler dot create token let's pass a token descriptor and return token handler dot write token let's pass a token ok let's save it to program cs and here let's add builder dot services dot add scope token service save it let's close it ok let's close this token service and go to account in point at the bottom let's collapse this one and here let's create login point group dot map post let's say login async and here let's inject user manager pass app user and user manager and pass token service token service and and let's go to explorer and let's create folder named dto and inside DTO, let's create login DTO. 
class login dto let's create a string email let's end it with required and another required property prop tab string password let's initialize with empty and string dot empty save it let's add here login detail and here let's check for detail if detail is null then just return result dot bad request and pass a response of a string dot failure and pass message invalid login and here for user await user manager dot find email async pass here email dtu dot email this return app user so let's check if user is null if we don't have user then return result dot bad request response of type string dot failure user not found okay and let's create result variable await user manager dot check password async and let's pass a user and dto dot password let's check for result it return boolean result is false then return result dot bad request let's pass a response of type string dot failure and let's pass a invalid password invalid password finally let's create token token service dot generate token let's pass your user id and user name and finally let's return result dot ok let's add here response of type string dot success let's pass a token and message login successfully now let's test our login in point so okay let's test our application login in point so go to terminal and restart our application let's go to api project and run dot net was run okay let's open postman and test our login in point click this plus icon here let's click this url and add here login add here login so click body inside body let's click raw make it json and here let's pass email dot com and password test at the rate one two three let's click send okay let's make it post method and let's send again okay is success true and data we have jwt token let's copy this one and go to jwt 
dot io and go to jwt io and go to bottom let's paste here we have named this user id and unique name expiry date so this is our generate token let's close it and our login endpoint is working fine 